Welcome guys, we have another game here. We have the Ayubits in the color pink. It is Shape Shifter. We have seen him before. Last time he g gave such a good performance. I expect nothing less of him this time. Against his opponent. Playing as the Delhi Sultanate in the color of teal. It is Certi. Also known as Certon. Welcome everybody to another Age of Empires 4 casted game. We are on cliffside. And the Ayubits against Delhi is not something I see very often. Ayubits, lately they have been fighting a, long, a lot longer in the Fetal Age. But I don't think that's the answer against the Delhi. Because if you know something about Delhi, is that they pump units like no other. They can have so much military in the Fetal Age. They can capture the sacred sites. And, you know, they don't care about the gold. They sell that gold in the market, buy more food and buy more wood, pump more units. And it's just a tough one. It's it, it's just a tough one. I don't know if the Ayubits will be able to, to hold this if they rush castle. Obviously, they have the option for going for the military win and start putting some pressure. But that's not going to last long. I mean, this, this guy's... These guys are just gonna pump units non-stop. Or at least that's what I think. Maybe, maybe he will try to rush castle. <laughs> I don't think so. But we have seen some crazy things with Delhi. One thing I, w I wanted to do for for some time is 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 find some crazy strats with uh, on team games. Because usually on team games you have some time to do crazy stuff that you normally wouldn't do. Especially in 4v4s. Man, 4v4s are those games where... And you need to go wander. <laughs> you cannot no go wander. Like, it just takes so much time. And... I'm curious to see how... Uh, how, like, for example, like, fast... Fast Imperial Delhi. Uh, into elephants. How, how how effective that is. I think it's... I think it's actually pretty, pretty cool. I think many months ago I played against like a 3v3. I was playing with some friends and then the guy just went fast Imperial. Managed to get like, I don't know how many elephants and it was all over for us. It was all over. We focused on the wrong target. But anyway, we see him already aging up with the military wing. It's gonna be the reinforcement. Obviously, have those three desert raiders. Who hates Desert Raiders? I mean, who hates the fact that you get it for free all the time? Every two minutes for the rest of the game, have that Desert Raider. Now, I don't feel the same with the Ottomans because I feel like they worked for it, you know? It's like, man, I, I spent so many resources in a military school that I can lose anyway. They can destroy my military school and I don't get these free units. But Desert Raider forever? Especially at the beginning of the game. Later on, it, it really is not such a big deal. Like, especially if you go this in the Fiddle Age, you only get one. I believe if, if you go from Castle to Imperial and you use the military wing, uh, I think you will get like eight Desert Raiders every two minutes. Which is kind of crazy if you ask me. Uh, but I, I think this will only help you at the beginning. And after that, it's not such great value. But it's one of those units that I hate. I really hate with all my heart because it's like, man, you just got it for free. Like, I need to work, I need to do something to to fight against you and you don't need to do anything. It's, uh, it's, it's horrible, yes. <laughs> it is horrible. It's gonna be the Tower of Victory for Serity. I don't know if he wants people to still call him Seraton or Serity. That's the thing I don't know with nicknames because everybody changed their nickname in, in Age of Empires and they just don't use the same one. So it's really hard for me to to get used to it if he changed the nickname like once and for all or or what what, what happened. Like it's just temporarily. Because Serity has been here for a while. And just to be Seraton. I personally like Seraton more, but uh Seraton is also cool. A little bit cute. It's like Malmo. Uh, the other the other day they were they were asking me like, like how what was the 
why you put Mama there? Well, obviously Mama is not my name. My real name is Mauricio. And if you need to... If you're asking, like, can you tell that again? I didn't hear that right. It's like that. That's the reason I, I use an, a nickname. Because uh, at least for branding, it's better if you use a name that people can remember. That doesn't mean that you can use a name that people can remember and you will never be able to make it. It just means that it will be harder. It has happened to you where it's like you find someone in YouTube for any anything really, and you say like, "Hey man, I just found that guy has some uh, some nice content. You need to watch." Uh, I just forgot his name. I just found him. I, I just don't remember now. Well, obviously, if you watch the same guy for like 10, 10 days, no matter what his name, uh, you, you will remember, right? But I, I'm talking about the first impression. The first impression is like you need it needs to stick with you, and. The reason uh, I, I I didn't chose that name. Uh, I went to work for Ubisoft when I was 24 years old. I'm 30 now. Will be 31 soon. And they put me that name because they cannot pronounce my name, and that's my my name at work. And I thought it was brilliant. I can just use it online. I don't know what I will do with it or when I will use it, but uh, looks like now is the time. After after like six seven years. Uh, because it was brilliant, it was easy to remember. It's it's short, it's simple, it works, it works. Uh, but to be honest, it's, 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 a, it's a very cute name. It can be used for girls, it can be used for dogs, cats. Uh, it's like Fluffy or something like that. It's, it's like a very cute name. It's not mas very masculine at all, but it works. So stick, I'll stick with it. It's like another Desert Raider will go down. It's like shapeshifter, just trying to put some pressure on his opponent. He's about to age up, he has enough gold, he just need a little bit more food. The deli with five gassy raiders out there trying to cause some damage. Looks like the stable will come up for shapeshifter soon. Probably save it to, to get those camel lancers. Uh, such a strong unit. 130 foot, 110 gold. It's a, these are premium units, man. Premium units for sure. And this is a time where you, when you're doing the fast castle, you want to start thinking about your production. Like, okay, let's just gather some wood. Let's start building some production because we don't have anything. That's the problem with that. Sacred sites are starting to be in capture for the Delhi. The north is the choice, as well as the bottom one. The, the middle one, I, I say. The bottom one is it's not ready yet. More Desert Raiders, but you know, this is, Desert Raider is not really gonna do anything here. Not really gonna do anything. More units being pumped by certain. And now, the economic wing grows. Eight villagers, just like that. Eight villagers is a huge, huge uh, advantage at this point in the game. Take a look at the graph when you fight against the Ayubits. Take a look at the graph. And if he does a fast castle, you will see that at this point in the game, when you have like 30 villagers or so, you will see a huge spike in the time graph. Where it's like, wow, this guy just suddenly overwhelms my economy. And that's uh, that's the good part about it. It's, it's just get eight villagers just like that. It's just so good. It's just so good. It's like the scout will go down. Sacred site being captured in the south of the map. More units pumping for certain. Always nice to get those free upgrades as a daily. Always nice. Always nice. Very. I, I find it a little bit hard to play actually. The, the daily sultanate. Looks like the gold will get denied for now. That's definitely the right call. Like, you don't want your opponent to have gold as soon as he ages up, so that he can have these u these premium units out there. But these outposts don't have emplacements, so they're not going to be taking down too many too many of those units. A couple of this uh, uh, Camel Lancers are already in queue, but looks like this outpost is going to go down. And the gold... 
still getting denied. Four Camel Lancers in queue, three stables. Looks like this outpost may potentially go down. Remember, no Blacksmith for Shapeshifter yet, so it's gonna have to be careful not to lose, not to lose those units very fast. Now he's out. And he's dealing very good with those Cassie Raiders. But look at that. Oh, they're actually taking quite a lot of damage. And the villagers just went out of here. Looks like there wasn't any population space for them. It's like, look who arrived. He lost seven villagers, but he gained eight. So he's still ahead, technically. Uh, very, very good push by, by certain. Very good push. And now he just needs to... And then what you do here, because your opponent is in castle, I guess you just keep pumping units, because uh, if he, you let him take the map control little by little, he will have better units than you. And it's easy for you to deal with castle units when you have the numbers. And when it's equal numbers, it's just not gonna work very well for you. You can already see how good these camel lancers are. They're just su such, a, such a good unit. Such a good unit to, to have to death. Beautiful. Did they really use camels for, for fighting? Those are really cool. I believe they are. Come on. More villagers going down. It's like this time. Spearmen are in place. Those are a lot of villagers being idle at the moment. It looks like the Desert Raiders arrive at the right time. Same as the Camel Lancers. More Ghulams are gonna be joining the party soon. Ghulams, extremely good unit against anything that Zeraton can create. At the same time, Sacred Side Victory approaching. He has plenty of gold in the bank to Asia. He just needs to go to the next Asia. If he wants to be equal with his opponent, but it's, it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one for sure. Gotta be careful not to lose those camel lancers again, th those spearmen. Well, the Gulams will join the party soon, and this is where things start getting complicated for a certain because he doesn't have any kind of unit to deal with that. But he did do a really good job at damaging his opponent's economy. He killed 16 villagers, which is quite a big number at this point in the game. He's ahead economically, and he just gave himself some time. It's like these walls are gonna be saving him for now. Managed to build them just right on time. Right on time. That's the cool thing about the daily. They can also use the infantry to build some walls, and you don't have to stop working for that. And that, uh, that's that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, if you ask me. Like, second side, it's gonna be the capture here. The south has a, already been the capture, so only the middle left for Zerton. More walls coming here. Looks like the Camel Lancers will just go for a raid. Same as here in the west side of the map. You already have plenty of spearmen looking for him, waiting for them. I dare you to come here. In what? Camel Lancer tried to kill some villagers, didn't manage to kill anyone yet. At the same time, the gate is trying to get. trying to take this gate down. The classic gate of. Uh, oh, what was the name of this, uh, this map? Uh, the classic gate of, of this map, which I, I completely forgot the name. I don't know. Uh, I had it in the tip of my tongue. But it's, it's a classic gate because it's the closest distance between you and the opponent. Uh, now, Zeraton has the numbers. He just doesn't have any good unit against the Gulans. Uh, he can deal with the Desert Raiders and the Lancers because he can get access to Spearmen and Archers. But the problem are the Gulans and their numbers are starting to grow. Are already 9 on the field and now with this gate down, Zeraton is in a really tight spot. 
plus on range armor just coming for the chafe shifter just in time he just managed to get into certain space and now he's going with those units gonna be able to do some raiding here but looks like he will pull the villagers just in time Gulam's just sending them just to tank all the damage but remember Certain has Tower of Victory, so these archers are just gonna be uh, r r just a little bit better compared to the regular ones. So he may have some chance against those Gulams with that many archers. I mean, I have a lot, but you look at those spearmen who need heavy armor when you can have a spearman. More Cassie Raiders just raiding here in the back of the base. Managed to kill another villager. It's like he don't care about the, this raider. Just needs, just, he, he's just thirsty for villagers and now the combo of the defender is being built in the back of his base with 8 villagers. Beautiful defense by Serton and he's still ahead on the military. This is one of those moments where you should not be afraid of the fast castle strategies. Just pump units, go attack and no, pray for the best, pray basically. <laughs> but... Uh, uh, hopefully for for a certain uh, if this was a good engagement despite being uh, behind on tech Meanwhile no relics being gathered by the Ayubits he had plenty of room to go gather them uh, uh, I feel he really needs to do that very soon otherwise he's just gonna get a, a, at least secure three relics at least I mean, technically four if all of those are outside your opponent's walls. If you can have three relics in your base, you're really good. Our Dervish is, is here, actually. It's just not being assigned. Capture those relics and certain reaches a castle age. And he does have, uh, unlike the Ayubits, he does have some scholars there to start capturing some relics. In indeed, he does have one of them already coming home. That's the thing about the Delhi is uh, you can just put your your scholars in position just before the Asia and instantly capture all the relics. You can already see all three, uh, <laughs> three scholars just gathering the relics, leaving only one for shapeshifter. Oh, a single one. He's just going for it, but looks like he's went, he went for for the wrong man because he he will not find it. He will not find it now. Meanwhile, more Lancers are being made by certain. That's the best thing you can do is just, I guess, just Lancers and Man at Arms. Just because your aggress just takes such a long time. Oh, look at that. Spearman against Gulam. Not any kind of a Spearman, guys. These Spearman are Power of Victory Spearman. They, they do uh, attack faster, so they're doing a better job. Uh, you know, uh, they lost a fight here. Looks like Shapeshifter. It's ahead on the military for the moment. But the Lancers are coming soon for Seraton. And things are gonna change here because he doesn't have any Spearman. Looks like he's just trying to go for a raid. Seraton is doing a really good job at raiding. Just focusing on those villagers, focusing on the economy. Don't try to fight the military yet, just try to focus on the economy. And he is having more uh, more villagers. Oh my god, 80 minutes into the game and didn't put the resource per minute. Ah, there you go, guys. There you go. The gate, again. The classic gate in this map being built again. We see it in every match. You need to build like a gate here. Otherwise your opponent just go to your base so easily. It's like the Lancer. We'll get caught here. Not gonna be able to catch any villager. Let's take a look at Serti's vision. Still stacking his base for now. And he needs to mine some stone. There you go. A stone is coming for him soon. Meaning he's gonna get a keep. And he's gonna get villager fortresses. To be able to just build those villagers inside the keeps. It's gonna take like four minutes, which is pretty much the time that it will take him to get the, the keep up. It's 
like more units are coming here. It's like Zerton doing a really good job on taking down those villagers. Very, very good job. Meanwhile, Shave Shifter already there with some units. Uh, 47 military units against 16, so you gotta be careful here. Yeah, you're fighting in a very dangerous territory. It's like the foot will get the knight for Seraton for now. I still can't put my finger in it. How, how should I call him Seraton or Sereti? I'm just gonna call, call him Sereti. More Lancers trying to find some villagers. It looks like they will only find the Raiders. Lancer having the fight of his life against those archers. Should be very happy about it. Spearman is starting to get mixed here. These are not even harder than Spearman. These are Dark Age Spearman. So <laughs> these guys are not gonna be uh, the best unit. Not upgraded. Dark Age Spearman at 20 minutes into the game, guys. Yeah, that's that's the, that's a huge difference. That's a huge difference. Meanwhile, it's time for Shape Shifter to take control. Already took down 11 villagers. So he's starting to recover little by little. He's inside Ceratis base. So, I still finally a time, a room for him to do a counter attack. Meanwhile, more Lancer are just coming here just to raid at the same time. Stone being gathered here. Not enough some for put a keep yet. Now more lancers coming here. More villagers going down. The villager massacre. Now it comes. But the keep will go up. It's too late. All these units, if they don't go out soon, they're gonna go die. Come on guys, garrison. Garrison, I know you can garrison. Come on, don't do this to me. Oh my god. But just like that, Shave Shister. Kill more villagers now, and now he is very, getting very close to the villager account of Serti. It's one of those moments when you realize too late. There's too many things going in the map. It's very easy for, for us to say this, but in the player's point of view, this is actually very annoying. Very annoying. It's a lot of multitasking. But more keeps are coming for Serti, so he's gonna be having a good time. He just needs some time to get his economy going. He cannot fight at the moment, otherwise it's very risky for him. So he's trying to do his best to get some time and get those keeps up. Meanwhile, Shape Shifter is just putting his attention on those raids and they're just gonna keep coming. We need to wall 100% here. Exactly what, uh, what he needs to do. Put another wall. Forget about those raids for some time and cause some damage. But now it's gonna get harder with those keeps around his base. Definitely, especially this keep around these farms. Uh, his food economy will be pretty much uh, protected for now. Except this one. Uh, this one is actually very well protected as well. Well, more stone coming for him. Lancers just trying to find something. Spearman. Steel. Dark Age Spearman. They don't, they don't mind. They don't deserve upgrades, man. They don't deserve any upgrade. More units coming from Shape Shifter now. The problem is there is a keep here and a Mangonel, it's already out. It's like the villagers get full of the stone for now. And the Mangonel sends a message to his opponent. He says, do not come closer, my friend. Do not come closer. More units coming here. Spearman still Dark Age. Archers, just scaring those villagers. More units taking down the west walls.
Meanwhile, another keep is gonna get built. I don't know exactly where, but he is building it somewhere. Let's take a look. There you go. Close to the next stone, securing the next keep of the game. This is actually a very good map for for the Delhi. There is a, plenty of stone in this map. So it's it's a very good map for Delhi. If they can secure all the stones, they can just put keeps everywhere and start and secure the map little by little. You can already tell Terton is taking control of the map slowly just by looking at the vision. You can tell Shapeshifter is just stacking his base for now. And he does have a Springle just to deal with the mangonels. But he, he also needs more siege. He, he, maybe he needs to control this area a little bit more. Maybe put a keep of, of his own here. That, that could work to start securing some resources. Because I feel like he's running out of gold. Uh, he only has this gold bank left. Uh, Relic finally coming home. And Jave Shifter has the military advantage for now. But certain it's gonna explode with the economy now. Another keep coming. Looks like the Lancers will arrive on time. But they don't have much HP, so you gotta be careful not to lose them. Managed to secure the skip, apparently. It's gonna it's gonna be able to go up. This point. Yeah, like it's a very tricky situation because he needs a lot of siege, which is expensive, and his economy is not exactly the best shape. You know? He's six sixty only sixty-three villagers. So you cannot have too much uh, going on for you. But you, you do need those trebuchets if you want to take down those those keeps. You need those sprinkles for you and you also need the army. So it's a very tricky situation because now 30 it's gonna pump villagers like crazy. I mean, another wall here and look at the Mag Magenic. I, I love the Magenic. Such a cool... Such a cool feature. Like, it's actually very good for sieging... You know, those... Uh, sieging buildings. It's actually very good. I love it. The, the range of it is just so nice. It's, it's just so nice. You just gotta be careful not to, not to lose it. It's quite expensive. Uh, how much it is? It's actually the same as the... It's a regular Megano. I would say, uh, is it cheaper? No, it's not. It's, it's the same. Mother Arms just dealing with the wall here. Shape Sister is trying to secure some resources in the east side of the map, but there is a keep here. Only left him with this gold in the right side of the map. But he doesn't have any de defensive structures to, to secure it, so it's gonna be tough. And all his army is here. More mangonels, or I should say, Magenic. Finally takes down the barracks. And an another one will come. Meanwhile, 30 already with 97 villagers. He's gonna start exploding anytime soon. He just needs some production. Let's take a look at his production. He does have uh, quite a few production buildings out there. He's building more barracks in the back. And also an army of his own, he does have some mangonels and springles to deal with those. So I think he should be fine, especially with six springles. That's, that's a huge number of springles. It's a huge number. Mangonels just burning everything. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful thing to witness. This is the siege of Shapeshifter. It is happening, guys. No, Cerity has a very good economy, but he lacks the military to protect those those sprinkles as well. Look at how much damage those those Maginics 
Ma... Manjanika. I, I don't see very often. Uh, well, I see very often. I don't say it very often. I just say, call them Magnus with fire. Managed to take down more production buildings, but now the sprinkles are coming. You just will lose them in a blink of an eye. One go down, and another one will come down too. There you go. Sprinkles for the Ayuids are, are there as well. Four of them. I think with the Magnus, you can take down this, these Sprinkles. Spearman in the dark age. This is the darkest Spearman. No training at all. Just right out of the recruitment. And 30. The big mistake pushing those those Sprinkles. Too forward. He may lose them, but looks like he go back. And the crossbow mass is just gonna protect those for now. Sprinkle numbers. Starting to decrease for 30. Now the push of the Ayubits start to happen. But Serity is already with too much economy. Let's see if he can hold this. More sprinkles coming for him. A couple of managi managing managing uh, <laughs> Manjanix already here. It looks like he will have to fall back for now. This was definitely a lot of damage. But there's nothing like you cannot recover when you have 123 villagers. It's nothing like that. Nothing like that for sure. Look at that town center. It's just... It's, who, who needs trebuchets when you have Manjanix? Such, I think it's one of the, I think it's a cool decision in the game. It is. It is a cool decision. Uh, like, no doubt. No doubt this is a cool decision. It's so cool to watch. Like, usually you don't see Mangonels taking down buildings, but these guys can do it. These guys can do it all. It's like another keep. It's gonna get built here. Where? Is Shape Shister getting gold from? Looks like he isn't. That's the neat part of it. This is a big stone wall here protecting all these gold veins. A keep in the middle protecting this gold and this gold. It's a really tough situation. I Charity, while we were focusing on the battle on the siege of Shape Shifter, we didn't realize Charity was taking control of the map entirely take a look at his vision you can see three quarters of the map let's take a look at chief sister vision that's all he sees and he's gonna take down that that keep that beautiful picture give me that one I know Cerity is going for it. Now he has more military numbers. Better than Spearman. Meanwhile, Chief Shifter is still with a couple of Dark Age Spearmen. Sprinkle numbers for Cerity this time. Has plenty of chance to take down the Maginic. Crossbows just dealing with everything that Chief Shifter has. Well, the wolf working for Cerity as well. The Mangonel goes down. And now Cerity is pushing. It's pushing really hard. It has plenty of gold in the bank. Gold that technically you could say they could use for upgrades, but actually uh, they are free for the daily, so probably you can think about going Imperial now. The wolf still working for Cerity. Another trebuchet. And the keep got repaired. Plenty of stun in the bank for Cerity. A checker side victory approaching as well. This is a really tough situation. This is his point of view. This is what he says. A big stone wall in the middle of the map. Imperial Age should be coming soon for him. Uh, 
another trebuchet trying to take down that keep and the guitar academy is being built with zero villagers just like in latin america when they build something take forever no one's building there you see that same building the whole time actually not building it <laughs> there you go The trebuchet is the last hope of Shapeshifter. But this gold is about to run out. And this one is a. Uh, it's kind of contested. You gotta be careful mining that gold there. You gotta be very careful. Hisar Academy. Coming really soon for Serity. Meanwhile, more man at arms already here. Gotta be careful not to lose those sprinkles. And Serity reaches the Imperial Age. Crossbows just dealing with the mangonels. <laughs> mangonels, I mean the, the gulams. And Shape Shifter taps out. Well played by these two players. Hope you enjoyed this match as much as I did. And if you do, I will see you in the next one. Bye bye, take care.